Hey, hey, everybody. Happy Friday. Time for Facebook Friday. It is July 15th. Unbelievable. Summer's flying by. And uh, we are going to, going to play with this birthday piggy today. It's so cute. Um, similar to other pig sets we've had. Have we had two other pig sets or one other pig set? I can't remember. If you love the pigs, then you'll know. This is the next version of the story. They're very cute. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. Hello, everybody. I'm going to have to pull you up on my computer because my iPad was dead. And let's see. All right. I'm in the right place. Don't want to hear myself. Oh, let's see. Well, I hope you guys are having a good week so far. It is... Um, been good here. We got rain yesterday, which is unusual, right? We are in a super drought down here. And so it started raining and I went out and stood on the porch and all the neighbors were, <laughs> came out to see the rain. We got very excited about the rain. Okay, let me show you a couple of cards I got and then I'm going to switch the camera around. This is from Nina, my downline. She's the geranium set. It's just beautiful. Look, it's a little window little gatefold card. She stamped the flowers inside too. That's beautiful. Thank you, Nina. I love it. I love that stamp. So I told you guys when we used it that I didn't expect to love it. Um, and I love that stamp set. Here's a Kathy sent me a card that screams Erica, doesn't it? Pink and black and the little bathing suits. Summer. So cute. I love it. I just love those bathing suits. Thank you, Kathy. And then I got one today from Chris. So pretty. Look how lovely her coloring is. Very pretty. And you can't see it, but it's shimmery. Um, she's added some Wink of Stella, some splatters, it looks like, of Wink of Stella. So gorgeous. Thank you, Chris. I always love your cards. Very, very pretty. Thank you. All right. So let's see. Um... You got rain too in Dallas. Good, Jessica. Yeah, it um, is starting to get a little dark outside too. So maybe some more. Nancy, 108. Yeah, we've been 105, 104 for days on end too here. It's, uh, it's a lot. <laughs> I'm ready for summer to be over. All right, I'm going to flip you guys around early today. I want to do this because I have a lot of things to show you. Um, let's see. I want to make sure everything is nice and straight. So here's our little piggy set. Let me move this out of the way. Um, the first thing I want to tell, tell, talk to you guys about is the sales tax holiday. I feel so blind because I can't see. Um, the sales tax holiday. This happens every summer right before school starts. There are states that do sales tax holidays for back to school. And some of our products qualify as like products that would be in that sale, back to school supplies, our markers, all of our adhesives, um, watercolor pencils, even the, the blends, um, what else, grid paper, um, all of that is on this list. And I linked this yesterday so you can scroll down and find it, but I'll link it today as well when I'm done. Every state is different. And not every state is involved. You'll know, you probably know if your state does a sales tax holiday. Um, right now, today, this weekend is Alabama. Also Puerto Rico, today and tomorrow. Um, July 22nd through August 8th is Florida. Florida has the longest sales tax holiday of everybody, it seems like. The 29th through 31st is Tennessee, my birthplace. August 6th through 7th is Arkansas. August 5th through 14th, Illinois, New Mexico, Ohio. August 5th through 7th is South Carolina, Texas, Virginia, West Virginia, and Missouri. And then August 13th through 14th is Massachusetts. So if that's you and you'd like to stock up on adhesive or whatever, make sure you go look at this. It's... it's <laughs> It's a lot. Um, I want you to make sure that you look, because some things aren't included in every state, right? The the catalog, too, I, that seems weird. Hopefully, you don't need to buy a catalog. Hopefully, I've given you a catalog. Um, but um, check it out. Also, Illinois isn't completely tax-free that weekend. It's um, state tax of one point. 
two, five. I don't know. Read the fine print, you guys, and let it, you know, whatever applies to your state. Um, if you have specific questions, I probably won't be able to answer them, <laughs> but I can find out for you. Um, but anyway, I was going to try to post reminders of this um, each time it goes, you know, live, but I don't know if I will remember. So try to write it down and uh, save that PDF when I link it, okay? Um, this is the um, starter kit bundle right now. This is added to any starter kits during celebration. So if you've been thinking about the starter kit, now is a great time. For $99, you get all of this plus $125 in product of your choice from either the annual catalog, from the holiday catalog, or the clearance rack. You don't get celebration items in your starter kit, but after you buy the starter kit, you can then place demonstrator orders yourself. You get a 20% discount. And then you also get celebration items um, with your demo orders, any order that you put in. Um, and then you get to be part of my team, which gets my PDFs for free and my classes at a discount, among a lot of other things. So if you're interested in the starter kit, make sure you click the link um, here when I'm done or go to my blog, click at the top um, where it says join. And uh, uh, Carla, no, I don't think demos can buy this anymore. It was just during pre-order. Yeah, it was just during the month of June. Um, the only way to get it is in a starter kit. Alrighty, so that is that. If you have questions about the starter kit, I'd be happy to answer them. All-star tutorial bundle. We are halfway through the month, the first month, and the first month is the only month where you can subscribe to get this. And when you subscribe, you get the six month for free. You get it for free if you shop with me and you spend over $50. Um, so if you're a customer of mine, you probably don't want to subscribe because you're probably getting them for free. But if you are a demonstrator or a customer of someone else and you would still like these, you can subscribe and I will email them to you on the first of every month for the next six months. Um, and there's two options. You can get all six months for $75 or you can pay month to month, $15 a month. And then that last month, December, is free. Also available in my PDF store. And this month, it's the Awash and Beauty. Here's my project. There are 12 projects, 12 different designers. They're all video tutorials with metric and imperial measurements. Um, also, I just finished next month's. And next month's is the He's the Man suite. I think you guys are going to really like it. All right, Club Create is not open for subscriptions yet, but I am gonna open it the first week of August. So if you've been wa waiting and wanting to join, um, just wait till August and I will open that for you. But the PDF and video is available now in my PDF store if you want that. Um, it's an immediate download. It should be emailed to you as soon as you purchase it. So if it doesn't show up, email me. About 10%, maybe even up to 20%, go to spam or don't arrive for whatever reason. So then I have to resend them. Um, same with my emails, guys. If you ever email me and you think I don't respond and then you email me again and I don't respond, that something's going on with the email. Um, because I, I respond to all my emails. Every now and then I accidentally miss one, but I don't ever intentionally not respond. Um, and you can always message me on Facebook if that happens. I don't prefer Facebook Messenger because I don't always see it right away. Email usually is the best. But anyway, <laughs> that's a tangent I got off on. Um, this is coming for all my Club Create members. We're doing the Best Butterflies um, Suite in August. You'll get four cards and a sweet little memory album, uh, mini album book. Okay? All right, that is that. Um, last thing I want to tell you about is the Happier Than Happy class to go. Now, the deadline for this... Now I'm forgetting. Deadline for that is I can't remember, and I should have I should have a post-it note in here. It's coming up at the end of the month. I can't remember, and I'm going to be out of town all next week. Um, but I think you know what I have my I have my computer here. I can look right now on my calendar and see when that is. Um, deadline. Where is it? Okay, I thought I had it on. Oh, the, okay, the deadline is the 29th. So the last Friday of the month is the deadline for this. This is a class to go separate from Club Create. Um, you can get it with the bundle, without the bundle. Every kit will include a full pack of DSP and two bolts of ribbon. 
uh, five cards and a mini album. Two mini albums this month. I'm in a mini album mood, I guess. I love designing mini albums. Um, and this paper is just the cutest. So um, this also PDF option is available in my store. Um, but if you want the class to go, you'll have to email me for that link and um, register by the 29th. Okay? Okay. It feels very quiet. I don't know because I don't have my uh, iPad. And Facebook is only showing me like two comments at a time. Thank you, Nicole. Yes, it's 29th. Um, I haven't ever done the banner. No, Michelle, I have not. Yes, you guys know the dates better than I do. Thank you. Okay. Hello, everybody who's joining. I'm glad you're here. Okay, so I have cleared off. Let's do prizes, and then I'm going to tell you what we're going to do this week. Uh, Karen Lopez, you're the winner from last week. Karen, do I have your mailing address? I don't know. Message me or email me, okay, Karen, so I can get this out to you. It probably won't go out until I get back from vacation, but congratulations. Thank you for sharing my um, Facebook Live last week. I appreciate it. This week's prize is Fond of Autumn. This is a new one from the uh, holiday catalog. So if you would like to be entered to win, all you have to do is share this video on Facebook or on YouTube, and I'll pick a random winner the next time we do Facebook Friday, which will not be until July 29th. Okay, so let me tell you what I have planned. Usually, if you're new here, this is going to be a weird week. <laughs> Usually, I do three projects, and then I offer the make and takes for free with an online order. Um, I'm leaving early tomorrow morning for vacation, family vacation. I'll be gone all the way until late next Sunday. So I... I'm deciding not to do these make and takes. I'm not going to send these make and takes this week, um, but I'm doing something different um, in its place. A couple of my friends have done this and said that it was really fun. So this is what we're doing while I'm on vacation. It starts today. I have, oh, and I was going to show you. Let me show you just one box. I have boxes upon boxes, you guys, of products, of new most of it's not used, slightly used, still in great shape. And I am going to do a BOGO sale, either late August or early September. But I'm going to do this too. You can earn a mystery box with your orders between now and July 24th. Mystery boxes will all have a pack of our new Pearl Hearts plus some of that amazing product that I have just sitting around waiting for a new home, okay? So here's, here's the deal. If you spend $50, not only are you gonna get a celebration item and the all-star tutorial bundle this month, but I, when I get back, I'm gonna send you a mystery package worth $30 plus those pearls, okay? All the packages will have those heart pearls. If you spend $100, you'll receive a package valued at $70. This could be stamps, dies, ribbon, paper, embellishments, ink pads, markers, stamp and blends, I've got it all. And a lot of it is still in the package. Um, if you spend $150, I'm gonna send you a package, a mystery package worth $100. And if you spend up to $300, I'm gonna send you a mystery package valued at $200. Now you have to use the host code, okay? You have to use the host code. Here's the host code. And then when I get back, Week after next, I will start working on these and get them out hopefully at the end of that week. Okay, so this is on today's blog post. Is today's blog post up? Hopefully you guys have checked it. Um, the details are there. It'll be on every blog post while I'm gone in case you're wanting to review <laughs> what the requirements are. Um, but I think it's gonna be fun. I'm really excited. I started pulling out all the stuff that I could send and I'm really excited. I've got some great stuff. So if you would like a mystery box sent to you um, the last week of July, um, this is how you're going to get it. And it's going to be free. Plus, you're going to earn celebration items. So yay. Okay, so there is that. I'm very, very excited about that. It's the first time I've done this. And I've had a couple of friends who did it. And so it was really fun. Um, I need to remind you guys, um, it is celebration. Like I mentioned, let me get my catalog. And I did mention last week that um, 
this, this is all while supplies last. Well, guess what has sold out? The cards and envelopes, the pool party and soft sea foam cards and envelopes, which honestly is not what I thought would have sold out first. I guess they prove, they've proven to be more popular than we thought. So I would have thought it would have been the dyes, either the hippo dyes or the probably tree lot dies, but nope, not sold out yet. But that just goes to show that everything in here is while supplies last. So if you want the things that you want, don't hesitate, okay? Make sure you get those orders in because they're not even giving us a heads up. Like they're not even saying, oh, the such and such is low inventory so that we can give you guys a warning. They're not. Um, they are just, it's gone. So Okay, so there's that, all right, you guys? Okay, well, let's get started. Today, we're doing this birthday piggy. I keep calling it this little birthday piggy, but no, it's this birthday piggy. And I have a confession to make. I used a retired product and had no idea that it was retired until I started typing up the list um, last night. <laughs> Um, hello, the, we're going to make this super cute card. Hopefully you got the horizon dies because we're using them. I can't believe, I mean, I have it in my cabinet. I have it marked that it's carrying over, but it retired. So, I mean, I can't remember the last time I've did that. So it's an oops. Sorry guys. It is what it is. Um, this PDF is over at pinkbucker.com and, um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't, I didn't finish editing. I can tell my fonts are different sizes. Oh, well, whatever. Um, and look, I put horizon dies and then I left the space and then I had to write retired. Oh, I hate when I make mistakes like that. But anyways, this is the first card that we're going to make. The supply list is over there. It's free for you. It's under the last photo. It has the measurements and the supply list. Okay. We're using the gingham cottage designer series paper which is so cute i i had to use it with the pig i thought that the blushing bride um gingham cottage paper was perfect for our little pig all right well let's get started i am going to use we're going to first make our dirt okay and you're going to need a piece of crumb cake cardstock just a quarter sheet like four and a fourth by five and a half and we're going to ink it with soft suede ink. Um, retired goats. You know, um, who said that? Lisa, send me an email. I think I might have that. Did they retire? I thought the goats carried over. See, I can't keep up. I can't keep up. Email me. Um, the mystery boxes, you guys, will all be different. There'll be a variety you won't know what you're getting. That's why it's called a mystery box. So please don't email me and say, in my mystery box, can I please have... <laughs> if you guys could see my garage, I need... Denise, if you're watching, I may need an intervention getting ready for the BOGO sale. I'm not sure. It's a little overwhelming. I have so much stuff. Okay, so what I'm doing is taking my blending brush and I'm doing the bottom half and the top half. All right, we're gonna kind of meet in the middle. I want it to be darker down there on those edges. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now, I'm gonna take my soft suede and I'm gonna splatter. Now, let me tell you guys that when you do this splatter, it is at some point going to fray your brush tips. Um, my other soft suede tip was frayed out when I went to use it. And it's because, I think because I've been doing this. But you guys know I don't use my brush tip very much. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know. You have to decide. Are you willing to take that chance when you do the, the flicking of the ink? You can also get your ink pad, right? Squeeze it, go like this, get your um, aqua painter just barely wet get a little bit wet and then you could flick it like that now it wouldn't be as dark I don't think but it definitely would work all right we're using this curved die right here from um, our basic border dies and I'm gonna cut our first layer which is just about half of the sheet um, Michelle says, I can't wait for BOGO. 
Michelle, I feel sick to my stomach when I think of BOCO because it's so much work. Um, it is, I know you guys love it, but it is incredibly difficult for me. Um, uh, it's just, it's, it is the hardest thing that I do all year. But boy, I do love passing on the BOGO stuff to you guys. I like getting it out of my garage. All right, so I did one little corner piece, right? And now with this, what's left, I'm going to, I don't know, we've got a little straight green piece. I'm gonna just kind of do like another, like a side, and we're gonna trim that. This is gonna be sandwiched in between those layers so you won't see all that weird pointy stuff. But we're just trying to use up as much as the, of the paper as we can, okay? It'll make sense, I promise. Okay, so now we've got this piece right here. We're gonna stamp our pig. We're gonna mask off our pig so that on here, all we're stamping is um, the pig and the ground below the pig. I don't want those flowers because this is like a little muddy area and there wouldn't be any flowers there, right? <laughs> it's a mud pit. So I don't want those flowers. So what I'm gonna do is take my post-it tape. I tried to look to see if post-it tape was on sale during Prime Days and it was not. But, cause I was gonna tell you guys, but there was something that was kind of cool, but I didn't wanna tell you cause I needed to order it first and try it. Real skinny, like um, almost like highlighter tape or something. I thought it said it was post-it tape. I thought that might be kind of fun to use. So I'm gonna order that. Um, yes, yeah, Stacy, you're right. You can flick with your regular markers. Um, we used to have this thing. It was like a, you know, the little suction things for babies' noses. It was like that and you hook the marker to it and it would blow ink off the end of the marker. Do you remember that? It worked really well. That's a long time ago. Um, but yeah, you're right. Stamp and write markers, you can. Not quite as easy, I think, but you can. You can still do it, but I think it would probably fray the tips if you do it the same way. Um, I don't know. Okay, so I inked up just the pig and the dirt, so no flowers, all right? Now, I am gonna stamp him again on Blushing Bride, and I'm not really gonna worry about masking because we're gonna just cut the pig out. And I'm using my Stamparatus so that, oh, look at that, oh no, okay. I thought I hadn't put the paper high enough, but I got it just, look at that. Actually, that's stamped really well, but if you use your Stamparatus, you know, you can stamp it twice to get a real dark image on your colored cardstock. You still have one of those spritzers? You know, Karen, I think I do too. I haven't used it in years and years, but that's just one of those things that I can't get rid of because it's such a unique tool. It really is cool. Okay, um, where did I put my grid paper? Let's add some dirt. You know what, let's see if I have my soft suede stamp and write marker. Hold on, crumb cake, soft suede. So this is what we're talking about, these, and they have the same tip, but you have to do the flicking too, like this, right? Oh, well. Yeah, it's not really working. Maybe mine's too dry. I don't use mine very much anymore. Hmm. Nope, not working. Mine's not juicy enough, I guess. They're old, real old. So we'll put some mud on our pig. See him? <laughs> Muddy pig. All right, fussy cutting. Now, grab your paper snips. And this time, usually I tell you guys to leave a little cloud, but we are paper piecing and we want this to sit right on that other image. Whoa, I almost cut his tail off. I may have just cut his tail off. Um, so try to cut right on that little black line, like stay right in the center, go slow. And there's gonna be these weird scallops down here at the bottom because it's the mud that's, you know, kind of the piles of mud or whatever. Um, so you're gonna, it's gonna look kind of weird, see? But don't worry, when we put it down on our paper, it's gonna look right. All right, now the tail is a little bit tricky, but go slow, put your glasses on if you need to. And 
Just stay right there. See how I'm keeping it right in the middle of my scissors? That's the best like place where you're gonna have really good control of this. Now, you could stamp your pig any color. You could also do this maybe on white and not cut it out at all and then just, you know, like if this were white, I'm not sure what that would look like. You could try it if you don't wanna do this fussy cutting. Okay. Hey, Patience, you on the way for your trip? Anidia, hi. Good to see you guys. We leave in the morning. And, um, yeah, and I am, we're flying. And I'm a nervous wreck because flying is not fun right now. So, but where we're going, you have to fly. There's no roads to Maui. <laughs> Believe me, if there were, we would be driving. Okay, so now, oh, I got a little bit of dirt right there. We'll cover it up with a rock. So look at that. How cute is he? He's very cute. Okay, now somebody sent this to me, and I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was, sent me this awesome idea where you can color your faux sea glass to make them rocks. Now that we lost our pebble, you know, our pebble, um, embellishments that we had so did I lose my take your pick tool did I nab it oh here it is so now we can make them whoops where am I going now we can make them rocks color you can color them brown or gray or whatever you need and we'll add a few little rocks in the pig's die okay there we go See, guys, isn't it cute? He's very cute. Okay, we're ready to start putting this together. Now, again, if you missed the beginning, yes, I know that these dies were tired. Did I know that when I made this card? No, I did not. I thought they carried over. So, you know, it is what it is. I made a mistake. So if you don't have those dies... You just leave leave the fence off. All right, so piece of gingham cottage. I'm muting it a little bit with vellum, just a little piece of vellum. I use this, and you can barely see the adhesive. Um, we're gonna put this on. Let's see, did I use dimensionals? I feel like I did. Yeah, okay, I did. Did I? Maybe I didn't. Um, okay, no, I didn't. Did I on this one? No, okay. So. We'll put this first layer flat down here. Michelle, fussy cutting takes practice. You are, you know, the more you do it, the better you're gonna get at it. And it looks like my piece is a little short, but that's okay. All right, now we're gonna take this weird looking funky piece and we're gonna put this on next. Um, we're gonna put it like right there. So put your dimensionals. Now, oh, you know what? Put the dimensionals a little bit lower because we're going to put that grass, we're going to slide that grass on underneath it, behind it. All right, so match that up without covering up your pig. And now just take your scissors and I'm going to get my bigger scissors. Whoa. And trim that off so nobody can see it. See? We didn't waste any paper, hardly any. And then we'll take this one, put those dimensionals again down low, and put this one over here in the corner, like that. Okay, okay. So here is the retired things that I used. <laughs> I'm really mad at myself, can you guys tell? <sighs> try to not use anything that you guys can't get because I know that's frustrating. If you're like, I love that, I want it. And then I'm like, oh, sorry, you can't get it. Um, we're gonna put the little fence there and then we'll put the other fence here. Like this. Okay. Now I cut two pieces of grass from that set too. Um, so if you don't have these dies, just cut a piece of garden green and fringe it 
and just make your own grass. Now this time I'm turning the die over to the back. Yes, you can use the back side, it's fine. And we're gonna slide that right there. Okay, now all we have left is our sentiment. I need another piece of white. I love, I think the thing that makes this stamp set is, are the words. It says, it's your birthday, go to your happy place and stay there all day. So the little pig is in his happy place. I thought that was really, I thought it was funny. All right, so that one's just gonna go on basic white. This one is gonna go on the right side of one of our basic white stylish shape dies banner, the larger one. Well, the longer skinny one, I should say. All right, so now I've got a toothpick. Do you guys keep toothpicks in your craft area? You need to keep toothpicks. Toothpicks, there's so many uses for toothpicks. All right, so I'm gonna tuck that down there. We're just gonna make it like it's a flag in the barnyard, I don't know. And then Fiona says, I love fuzzy cutting, me too. I don't know why, it's relaxing to me. Make that even. I'm gonna put that there and then I need to grab my linen thread over here, hold on. Um, linen thread, where are you? Well, I guess I have to open a new one. I go through linen thread almost as much as I go through dimensionals. And there is twine. We do have a pack of Baker's twine that is the neutrals that has um, twine that would do this as well. But I just like linen thread. It's, it's I don't know. I like it. It's my favorite. Right there, we'll put it up on the top this time. Okay, and then this one, all you're gonna do is just cut it into a rectangle. Let's see if I can get this in the right place. I stamped it a little bit high. So let's cut that off and then come down here like that. All right, and we'll just snip like that and get a dimensional and we're done. So this could be masculine, this could be kid, this could be friend, girlfriend, whatever. I think this card could go for anybody. Now look what I did, I put a dimensional on one side and regular adhesive on that side because this is up a layer so that I can make it even with that. So it's gonna be flat here dimensional there. And ta-da, we are done. Do you guys like it? You like, is it weird to put mud on your card? <laughs> I mean, it's a pig. You gotta have mud. Gotta be messy. That was my very first thought when I looked at this, uh, this set. Um, Polly says, linen thread is my favorite too. It just goes with everything. You're so right. It does. And then with Lisa, I have toothpicks and the tiny solo sauce cups with lids. Oh, that's smart. You get those at Walmart? Where do you get those, Lisa? Um, you have a friend who collects pigs, Mary, Mary Ellen. Yep, perfect, perfect. This is a very popular set. Okay, let's move that over and we'll do the next card. I need to leave some of this because we're gonna use it again. Here and here. Ugh, my hands are filthy. Okay, hold on, let me get a little sip of Diet Coke. Okay, next, this is kind of a fun party card, bright and cheery. And I'm gonna show you a stamp you can use for splatter. So this has got the Butterfly Kisses Designer Series paper. I love the Butterfly Kisses DSP. It is bright and fun. You saw I used it in the Club Create on the mini album. You know if I use it on a mini album, I love it. Now, I was looking for splatter. Here we go, Nature's Prints. We actually have quite a few stamps that have splatter. Um, I remember, remember when we had the coffee set and it had the little coffee ring stain? I love that stamp. Those can always be used for different things. So this, we're gonna use for like, you know, like a mess, like a pig, he made the mess. 
Um, yes, Fiona, pigs, uh, hippos like mud too. That would be a great idea. All right, so we're gonna stick with the colors from the, um, I need a piece of gray paper. From the Butterfly Kisses paper. So, hey, you guys, by the way, this little grid paper is really fun and it's a lot easier to manage than the big grid paper. It's in the tax-free sale. So if that's one of your states, add that to your, it's designed for the Stamparatus, but I love it. Okay, so I have cut the largest stitched rectangle out of basic white. And we're gonna use Fresh Freesia. How many of you like Fresh Freesia? I am, I don't love Fresh Freesia. It's not in my top 10. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I'm not a purple girl, although I do love Highland Heather. And I do love our new um, Orchid Oasis, but Fresh Freesia reminds me of the 90s. Not sure why, but it's in this paper, so it goes really well. So it doesn't matter if we like it or not. All right, so we added some splatter. Now we're gonna add these two pieces, and I, did I cut them backwards this time? I did, okay. This one is one inch, and we'll put that right there like that. And then this one is one and a half inches. And see, I'm just going to overlap it. Any paper that is like a rainbow or stripes in a pack, it's going to be my favorite print in the pack. And then I use it all up because it's my favorite. And that's exact same with this one. Okay. Now we're going to not do any fussy cutting with this guy. We're just going to stamp him. And let's see, I'm gonna use my Stamparatus again. And we'll put this on here with my, you know, I've lost one of my magnets. I'm sure it's not lost, you know, like lost, lost, but I don't know where it is. I need to look for it. All right, Memento. I did, Clean recordings of the first and last project today. Did not get, I did not get to this one. It's again, been crazy. We're leaving town first thing in the morning. We had a design meeting with a home builder on Tuesday. We were there for eight hours. My husband, I thought he was gonna lose his mind. And it's just been one of those weeks. So I only had two out of the three. I figured this one you probably didn't necessarily need a video, you know, of it all by itself. Um, this recording will be on YouTube, so if you need to come back. Okay, hold on, did that move the camera? Oh, can't get my, <laughs> can't get my uh, heat tool, it's like stuck. But I'm just gonna heat set this just a little bit because I'm using light colors. And I don't want it to pick up any of that color. Usually it only happens with yellows, but this petal pink, I don't know, worry about this petal pink too. All right, so, we used Blushing Bride on him in the last project. In the next project, we're gonna use Calypso Coral. In this project, we're using Petal Pink. I think Petal Pink is probably the most accurate color for him. But of course, I've seen those hippos in every color under the sun. So you do whatever color you want your pig to be. Oh no, I'm running out. My marker is almost out. Do I have enough to finish our little pig? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to order some more. So stamp and blend markers are alcohol-based markers, you guys, and they're not gonna leave any streaky marks <laughs> unless you're running out of ink and then your pig's gonna look a little streaky. I'm not gonna really do any, any um, shading on him. I don't really think necessarily, maybe a little bit there on the ear. We also need to do his little snout and his hands and his feet. He doesn't have hands, hooves, hooves. Pig have, pigs have hooves, yes. Oh, I don't like the way that looks. This looks like we used light um, and this is dark. So you decide which one you like best. Okay, so now I need Calypso over here. We're gonna color that little cake. Again, the colors come straight from the DSP. Um, gorgeous Grunge, who said that? Yes, Carla, Gorgeous Grunge was one of my all-time favorites. That was a great set. All right, so Calypso Coral, then we'll do, um, 
No, it's not this one. It's Fresh Freesia. Whoa, let me grab my markers. Hold on. Fresh Freesia. Do, 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 do. And then... Parakeet Party. Like that. All right. Man, what is wrong with me? I don't have all my markers. This is what happens when I don't pre-record a video. I don't have everything. All right, little candle, and then we'll do our balloon in Fresh Freesia. Now, you guys know that you can look on the back of your DSP pack, and it'll tell you what Stampin' Up! colors are in the paper. Um, that way, you don't have to guess at what colors to use. And you know it's going to be a match. You know, if it says Fresh Freesia, the cardstock and the... The ribbon and the marker and the ink and whatever, they're all going to be exactly the same. That's one of Stampin' Up's like things that they're known for and why a lot of us love them. Oh, I didn't color his tail. Let's see if I can get enough ink out of here to color his tail. There we go. Oh, you know what else I might have used? I bet our some of our natural Stampin' Blends would work for a pig. I bet. Yeah, it's a little fleshy. <laughs> At least you're right. It's a little pink. It's a little fleshy. That's all right. Um, you know what? I'm going to grab. Let's see. Let's see what I have over here. So here are our flesh tones that are a little pinkish. I bet this one. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, I better not. Let's see, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna add some color to him. Oh, it's pretty, it's pretty light. I mean, it's pretty dark. Yeah, okay, oh, dang it. Have I ruined my pig? Let's see if we can blend that out. Well, <laughs> he's a little, now he's really fleshy. Oh well, whatever, who cares? Okay, we're leaving it, we are leaving it. Um, okay, we're gonna take this, um, <laughs> It's never good to test something out during a Facebook Live, that's for sure. Now, who can, who wants to volunteer to help me find the end of this uh, twine? Oh, is that it right there? Ah, I found it. Okay. I know, you guys, <laughs> we all struggle with the, the, the end of the twine. Here's the Fresh Freesia ribbon. All right, we're going to just run this through here. This is a tailor-made tag, the largest one. Um in basic white thick. All right, so now cut those ends so that they're pretty. And we're gonna tie a little bow. This is um, Starry Sky. <laughs> Thank you. Jill says, my piggy looks fine. Andrew says, he looks adorable. Thank you. He's, there's something dark going on <laughs> the, behind him. Who knows? Who knows? Um, a glue dot. And put that right there. All right, so now we're gonna stamp the sentiment. Again, I don't have any paper here. Where did I do that other paper? Um, let's stamp the sentiment, which I know I put that on a block. Maybe I didn't. Oh, I know, we used it in the other card. Right, birthday, yeah. Or no, what does it say? It's your birthday. Yeah, 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 that's that one. Oh my gosh, see, this is why, this is why I make all the individual recordings, because I get to practice, and then you guys think, wow, look, she really has it all together. <laughs> but I don't. It's just a, it, those pre-recordings are a dry run. I can work out all the kinks before we go live. All right, Starry Sky Ink. Yeah, he's been out in the hot sun. <laughs> he's just getting a tan. Yeah, he's a South Texas pig. And he's burnt to a crisp on his back is what it is. He's starting to smell like bacon. He's starting to smell like breakfast, I should say. Poor piggy. All right, so we're going to cut these apart. It's your birthday. And then you're going to want your little many dimensionals. 
One, two, three. Kathy, I like this stamp set too. It's a really fun one. And I, it's versatile, you know? Birthday cards for your husband, birthday cards for your grandson, birthday cards for your friend. Like you just can, you can do it all with this set. All right, let's switch back to our large dimensionals, which are not sitting here, are they? Yes, right here. And we'll flip that over. Dimensionals, 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 right? Oh, my poor piggy. I may have to stamp him again and then fussy cut him and glue him on there because he's, he is <laughs> looking a little weird. All right, so now here are the in color dots. I folded mine to fit in the little thing that I keep my uh, embellishments in. I have a little stamp and storage embellishment um, holder, which is great, but this is just too big, it didn't fit. And um, we'll use Parakeet Party and flip over. Oh, come on. Parakeet Party and Starry Sky. Boy, I love these end colors a lot. Okay, come on. I ordered new putty for my um, Take Your Pick tool. But did I, did I put it in my Take Your Pick tool? No, it's sitting over there on the counter and we're not gonna stop for that. All right. Now, let's put it on here. Four dimensionals, one in each corner. They do. Jennifer, what were those called? Candy candy buttons? Is that what they were called? She says they look like the old-fashioned candy. Candy buttons, candy dots. I know exactly what you're talking about. All right, now, on the inside, this is a dark card base. And look, guys, whichever way you want your card to open... You can do it either way, right? So when you want your card to open this way, you cut your card stock on the long side. But if you want it to open this way, you cut your card stock on the short side. And the reason I always do my cards like this, I've just gotten in the habit of this, is because when you photograph your cards, for whatever reason, they photograph better like this. And I, I guess because it's angled, right? Rather than straight up. That's in case you're ever wondering why the heck I uh, do that. That's why. All right, we've got a little piece of basic white. And then we can stamp our pig, except do I have it still on my stamparatus? No, you know, we're just gonna leave it off because I'm not prepared. But look, just stamp him like that in a light color and then hope it's the best in a dark color because a card base, a dark card base is hard to write. Oh, you know, I forgot Wink of Stella. Um, funny story, when I was a brand new baby stamper and I didn't really know very much, I remember making a card with a dark card base and then I was going to give it to somebody and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't, I don't have a white pen to write it. It never entered my mind to put a piece of white paper in it until I saw someone else doing it. It never entered my mind. <laughs> I don't know why. So every now and then I like to share that because... Sometimes you just, you just don't think of these things. All right, so there's a bright and cheery fun card. One crispy pig and one not so crispy. And you can add Wink Estella to all of the, the things if you want, but I just did the balloon. Very cute. Okay, one more. And you guys be prepared for this next one. I told y'all last week that this one might be a little weird and you might not like what I found to put in our box. You might not like it, but some people will like it. All right, so we did a lot of brainstorming, me and my mom and my husband, trying to come up with what would we put inside a pig box. Lots of, lots of things we were thinking. I wanted something that was already pre-wrapped, right? Because that's easiest. And we came up with something on Amazon called Bacon on the Go. Now, my youngest daughter tried it, and she was a little like, mm, but it's spicy. They're all spicy. Raspberry chipotle, bacon. Uh, well, that one says sweet. I'm going to try that one. Red curry. So I linked them today. <laughs> if, you, if you know somebody who likes bacon, I'm not sure what is in here that is keeping the bacon 
from going bad, but look, it it goes till March of 23. You know, they've been telling us that we should stock up on our non-perishables. I heard that on the national news last night. <laughs> so there you go. All right. That's what's in here. Now you guys are saying pig skins. You know what? Um, we call those down here, they call them chicharrones. Those uh, fried pig rinds. Uh, is that what they're called? Fried, you know, the the rind. Pig, I don't know. Anyway, I know what you're saying, but I need an individual package. Something I can make a box for, right? So if you want to use something else, just make a tag and you could clip it to that. Um, chocolate footballs. Lisa, you're so smart. That would be cute for like pig skin. And then you could do the school colors. Yes. Oh, you're funny. Yes. Who said that? Reminds me of the commercial. Um, Carolyn, yes. You know the little Geico commercial where the pig's <laughs> going, wee, wee, wee. She says that's what that reminds me of. Okay, so let's make this box <laughs> for this bacon that will last us through the zombie apocalypse, apparently. And I'm going to show you. I chose Calypso Coral this time because I, again, wanted to use... That Gingham Cottage Designer Series paper. I'm obsessed with it. It is my favorite. So let's make the box first. You're gonna need a piece of cardstock that is seven by seven. And on the second page of today's PDF, you will find the measurements. Also, everything that I talked about at the beginning is all here too on that PDF. All right, so seven by seven, let's see, on the first side. Doesn't matter which side, because they're exactly the same. You're gonna score at half an inch, um, three and a fourth, three and three fourths, and six and a half. Turn it the other way and score it at half an inch, one inch, and six and a half. Thanks for sharing. Um, Debbie, I appreciate that. We have a pretty good prize this week for sharing. Ooh, my nail color clashes. I should have gotten my nail color more of an orange for this week. All right, there we go. Use your bone folder, get those nice and crisp. Now, this end has two um, sections, right? That are short, I guess skinny, narrow, that's the word. And we're gonna cut off the two long ones and the two short ones right here. Completely cut them off. It doesn't matter which side because it's symmetrical. Just pick a side and cut that off like that, okay? Now, come down here and cut this square off. I'm just gonna cut that at an angle, okay? I don't know. Actually, I don't really think these need to be angled, but whatever. We're angling them. We'll do that one at an angle. An angle just helps it go together a little bit better if your um, score lines are just, you know, if you cut on either side of the score line. All right, now we're going to cut these squares off completely. And then don't cut in from the side on this one. Cut in from the top. You want that to fold down like that. Okay, cut there and there, cut that one off. And then again, cut from the top. Now this one you definitely need to angle because this one's gonna be tucked in to the box. Okay, so there. Now, get all my trash. I'm just gonna use stamp and seal because that's what I have here. And you're just gonna sandwich that over like that. It's very easy. So stamp and seal all the way down. And let's see, I'm gonna put adhesive on this one only because I angled that one. I should have probably, I should have, okay, well, whatever. We're, I'm being way too picky. Fold these little corners in. I like to have the front flaps all fold over, but I cut that at an angle. It should have been that one at an angle if I wanted that. So now we're just going to tuck that one in like that and then wrap this around. I know, I just made no sense at all. Okay, so we've got the skinny box and these little things that just tuck in like that. Okay, there we go. Now, it looks a little, 
Ugh, I don't like that, that rough edge there. Let's see if I can change that. I'm gonna have to, I can't stand it. It doesn't really matter if it's angled. There we go. Okay, there, that's better. Except I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, it's just bacon. Okay, so which side do you guys like? This side or this side? This side or this side? I've done both, so you can decide. I think this is less busy and you can see more of it, but I think this side, the messy side, is more fun and more like representative of the pig. Like a pig would have made, a, you know, like painted that all like messy. I'm overthinking it, I know. All right, so now open it up. Your bacon has to fold in half. Yes, your bacon on the go. <laughs> oh, you guys like the white better? Oh, it's small, okay, yeah. It's delayed, I never get, I have to wait like 20 seconds for answers. <laughs> Susan, thank you. Um, we're going on vacation, yes, and uh, I'm so... I'm a nervous wreck. I'm a nervous traveler anyway. I will not sleep tonight at all. It's a long flight, taking all the kids and the boyfriend. And we had a pretty simple flight. And then Delta, of course, because of everything that's going on, changed our flight. And now we go, we have two connections. And you know, when you have two connections, that leaves a lot of room for things to go wrong. So I am, you know, like, okay. You know when you get there and they're like, um, sorry, people, your flight has been delayed because there's a strange noise coming from the engine or the flight crew didn't arrive, we're waiting, or, um, you know, like there's a weather delay, blah, blah, blah. You know, all that. And so if any of our first two flights are late and we missed the connecting flight, then what? You know, like the one going to Hawaii. I don't know. I don't know. I'm overthinking it. But again, this is what I do best. Overthink. All right. So we're going to do Calypso Coral this time for our pig. Uh, because we did Calypso Coral over here. And I'm going to go with the light first. And then if we want to add a little bit of shading, we can do that with the dark. I've been uh, watching the weather. Of course, the Today Show likes to freak me out. I don't know why I continue to watch the news, but I do. Today, they have like, oh, disasters in the airports today. 5,000 flights delayed, blah, blah, blah. Like, oh my gosh, please. I don't need to listen to this. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, I think... I think that's okay. There's a weird streak there. So now I'm going to have to add a little bit more to smooth all that out. Okay. Now I was like, what colors go with Calypso Coral? And if you Google, you like the pig and Calypso, I do too. Um, oh, Nancy, don't tell me that. She says, we got to Maui missing some luggage. I'm hearing that a lot. A lot of people who are flying this summer are missing their luggage. We all need to pack some undies in our carry-on, I guess. <laughs> our bathing suits in our carry-on. Um, so you guys know, if you're using the Stamping Up color and you're like, what color goes with this color? All you have to do is go to Pinterest or even Google and Google Calypso Coral color combos. And you will get a bazillion images that pop up that tell you like, oh look, this color goes with these colors. This is a great color combo. So that's how I went with this. It was uh, Poppy Parade, Daffodil Delight, and um, Calypso Coral. And I, my, um, my blends are all going out at the same time. My Poppy Parade Light is basically dead doa hold on i need a smoky slate so i just threw that away i'm gonna have to add, order a new one all right now smoky slate for this i did it two different ways you can decide whatever you want to do the handlebars should they be poppy parade or should they be smoky slate i'm going with smoky slate all right now um for all this confetti back here he's got a lot of little fun confetti 
just do like dot, 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 because it's so tiny. Just dot the images with the three colors that you're using. Dot, dot, that was a little bit bigger. Dot, dot, let's add a little bit of Daffodil Delight. Your daughter left for Italy last night. Don't, oh, Patricia, do I even wanna read this? Delta had delayed their flight out of Atlanta for over four hours. I have slept on the floor of an air airport before and it's left me like with post-traumatic. <laughs> I, I swore I would never fly again after that. And now every time I'm just nervous and worried. I'm gonna hit this with a heat tool so that my yellow doesn't smear that. Um, everybody I know right now is having um, flight issues. Carry on. My daughter travels weekly and it's been a nightmare. Delays, misconnections. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I know. So I've been watching. If we just had one connection, it wouldn't be so scary. But to have two connections, any, I guess any connections are scary. Oh, you know what? I don't want to use this dart, but we've already started. So let's switch over. Um, what was I going to say? about that i was gonna say i don't remember oh the other thing that scares me is that there's six of us you know if it was just me or me and my husband it would be easier to like rebook us on something else but there's six of us and my daughter's boyfriend's ticket is not attached to our reservation you know so they wouldn't automatically rebook him with us <sighs> first world problems i know i know i should just Count my blessings and not complain. All right. But we had to have something to talk about, right? When I was coloring. Now we're going to use a die, if I haven't lost it, called um, Celebration Tags. Celebration Tags dies. These are new and they're awesome. And so this tag is going to give us the little, um, the little holes here on either end to, to braid or to braid, to thread our ribbon through. There we go. It will be a great time. Luggage or no luggage, right? So Joan, we're going, I mean, this is crazy. So San Antonio, think South Texas, right? Our flight was originally through Los Angeles to Maui. Well, now we're flying to Salt Lake City and then to Seattle and then to Maui. And there was no other option, believe me. When they, ch they changed us and there was no other option, so I told the girls, because we made the flights like six months ago, I told them there's a flight out of Austin, we could drive to Austin, that goes to LA, but we'd lose our good seats that we picked out six months ago. And all three of them said, nope, don't change it. I'm like, okay. And of course, you know, my uncle and aunt were supposed to be here in San Antonio. So do you see what I did? I thread that through, put some dimensionals, and now we're going to stick it down like that. My aunt and uncle were on their way here this morning. They had the very first flight out of Memphis, staying with my mom. And they had a connection in Houston. And they missed their connection. And now they're sitting in Houston all day. It's like, it's just not fun to travel. Uh, you know, I think at least if you have a car, you're in a little, you have a little more control. I think that's what it is for me, the lack of control. I, you know, I'm, I'm at somebody else's mercy and it costs a lot of money too. So, you know, they're messing around with your money. So look how cute. Let's change the subject and talk about a cute pig. He's very cute. Okay. Now you could leave it there, but I wanted to add a few more little pennant flags. I felt like it would look like, you know, a little like room, like little hanging behind him. So I've got some daffodil designer series paper, three quarters inch. Whichever patterns you want. They're too long, but I had to make them long so that I could stick them in my punch. And then a half inch Poppy Parade. And we'll just, let's cut these down a little bit. Yep, Michelle, I've heard that too. Getting sick, I know, I know, I know, I know. Let's think positive, let's, let's think positive. I mean, that's all we can do, right? That's all we can do. All right, I'm gonna slide this in here like that and let's get that straight Boop. 
And this one's a little bit long too. Has one more little, little flying pennant behind him. How cute is he on a scooter? So cute. And there we go. You're baking on the go. I have, now look, I have a snack for the airplane for when I'm sitting in the airport for 18 hours. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. So what do you think? Bacon on the go, yay or nay? I think my husband would like it. He loves bacon. He loves bacon. We eat a lot of bacon around here. All right. Now, I have some extra projects, too, that are sitting under my computer. I posted one yesterday. Um, this is the one I posted yesterday. Make sure you go and look at it. It's so cute. Same splatter right there. Um, this one will be Monday. Very simple. Okay, real simple. I love this color combo. Um, flirty, flamingo, and um, pale papaya. Almost called it peekaboo peach. Um, <laughs> you know, I wonder if the bacon comes on spicy. I don't know. I just saw those. And I was like, oh, let me order those. And then look at this one. I'll post this one next week too. So cute. Look at him. Um, I like the clouds back here. And then last but not least, this is a swap that I got from Mary Schultz when I was in Utah last month. So I pulled it so you guys could see it. She used those um, in the cloud, that in, in the clouds embossing folder. I love that embossing folder. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you check it out. Okay, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's projects. Remember, we're not doing make and takes this week. We are doing mystery boxes which I think is kind of more exciting and worth more. Um, there's a chart here, depending on how much you spend, I will send you mystery boxes with this much in product. Some will be brand new, some will be retired, some will be slightly, I'm not gonna send you any junk, don't worry. Sometimes I use a stamp set and I use one stamp one time. I mean, to me, that's pretty much new, right? Um, same with the dies. Sometimes I'll order an extra pa pack of dies so that I have one die, you know, so I can cut multiples and then I put it back in and then that's it. The rest of the dies never got used. So they're going to be good. Um, so this goes through next Sunday. Okay. July 24th. I have some things planned for my blog. I'll post a couple times on Facebook. I'll update you guys. I'll let you know if we got to Maui or if we're going to spend our, air, our vacation in the Seattle airport. We'll see. Um, but I appreciate you guys. Um, thank you for joining me today. And oh, also emails this next week. I'm going to check emails occasionally. So be patient with me. Okay. You guys have a wonderful week. I'll be back on the 29th. And then you know what? We'll be excited because it'll almost be time for school to start. Yay. You guys have a wonderful week. I'll see you later. Thanks guys. Bye.